Well, welcome to L.A. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. Yeah. You did my show in Chicago often. All the time, yeah. We did it all the time together. How'd you get into matchmaking? Oh, my mom and my grandmother. They did it for, you know, the local temple to hook up all the divorced women, I guess. Oh, yeah? Yeah, a lot of divorced women back in the 60s, so my grandmother would do it. Yeah. yeah. What would they think of your style of matchmaking? Oof, I don't know. I'm pretty tough. They weren't like that. They were sweet. They were really nice. They were, I, I'm one of those that call it like it is. I'm pretty much a truth sayer. So yeah. my mom would probably love it. My grandmother would be like, stop with the potty mouth, you know? <laughs> Enough. Yeah. Okay, now you match millionaires mm -hmm. with singles. Mm -hmm. How do you weed out gold diggers? Oh, it's very, very easy. I make them sign paperwork. Uh, we have a very strict code of conduct in the club. If I find out a woman or a man, they're a man gold diggers oh. too, are hunting and fishing for gold, they're out. And the clients tell me, the clients tell me, we're a relationship service. Yeah. It's all about relationships, relationships, real relationships. I want women to make money, if not more than the men sometimes. Well, what's the difference between what a millionaire man or a millionaire woman is looking for? Millionaire women like to trade up. They don't want to, you know, they don't want to be mommy in the relationship, right? Because that's what happens. You find a lot of L.A. guys are slackers, sitting on the couch, lazy lions, not asking you out. So they, they want smart independent men who are as strong as they are, because then you can spar at the table and hit the bedroom too, you know? And I think women who are successful, they really would like for the man to be as successful. You don't have to be as successful, you just have to be really good with your money and smart, you know, like it can be a little bit lower, but you're generous. Generous right. is a big deal. A lot of men hold on to their money and are stingy. Yeah. yeah. Now, wealthy men are looking for what? These older men think they can get the 25-year-old girls, and they don't realize, like, as they age, she's going to be wheeling you around in the nursing home, you know, and then she's going to go into your bank account and right. clean it out. <laughs> what are some of your rules for dating? Well, I mean, the number one rule is go on the date without expectation. You know, when they go, look across the room and they see that, that man or that woman, that's my wife, that's my husband, you don't really know these people. That's right. You gotta do your due diligence. You gotta get under the hood of the car and find out what motors them, what makes them tick, what it's like at home, what's it like in their work, what's it like in their lifestyle. Right. Most people are like, oh, you're cute, I'm cute, let's go. You know nothing about them. That's right. And people don't take the time because they're on their phones. They're looking down the whole time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. what, what are your rules about sex? Well, I have no sex before monogamy because if you want to get married, you want to get into a serious relationship, you know, I, I, the playbook's from your book, you know? Yeah. I've been doing the same thing you've been doing forever, which is you don't give the, you know, the cookie away for free. You know, this is the golden goose. You know what, man? If I could get women to understand y your value is incredible. You just don't understand that. Mm -hmm. You have the one thing that men can't live without, period. <laughs> period. We cannot. That's crazy, man. So true. So true. I'm trying it's to true. tell you now. It's true. No, I'm a woman. I can tell you it's true. It's true. It really is. I'm, it's the biggest lesson you could learn. You are so valuable, man. Stop. They don't know they're the deal. They see, they think that the male is the deal. They don't know they're the deal. There is no man more valuable than you. And you got to understand that. And men who have value are looking for someone who values herself that way. Because he already got money. So now all he wants is a woman that values herself that way. So when you give it to him, he knows now this belongs just to me. She ain't going to trip. She ain't going to pass it out. She, this just for me? OK, cool. What kind of house you want? Cool. How many, what, what kind of ring you want? What kind of car you want to drive? Where you want to fly? Here, go do all that. Just, when you go over there, can that still be mine? Yes. Okay, cool. All right, if you're sitting there thinking, I sure would love to see those Steve Harvey YouTube videos on a regular basis, well, you're in luck. Because you can. All you have to do is press the subscribe button, or you can click on this list and see what other foolishness I've done. Rather that foolery.